Let's review from yesterday. Use different wording, avoid pauses. Welcome to the speaking section. We'll now go over speaking question three and five. Introduction, question structure, approach tips, a scoring criteria, a scale building tips. Here we're going to look at how the questions are structured and what they're asking, how to approach the questions, how your responses are scored, and we'll give you some tips for improving your speaking skills. Question three, read a passage, listen to a response, 30 seconds to prepare, 60 seconds to speak. Here's generally what the question will look like and how they are structured. In question three, you will read a passage about a campus related topic. Then you will listen to a response to that topic. Then you will have 30 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak your answer. Question five, listen to a conversation. 20 seconds to prepare, 60 seconds to speak. For question five, you listen to part of a conversation. Then you'll have 20 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak your answer. Now let's look more closely at what these campus situation questions look like and what they will be asking you to do. For question three, where you have both reading and listening passages, you will be asked what the opinion is of a speaker in the listening passage, and you will need to explain how that person's opinion relates to the issues presented in the reading passage. So, you're essentially summarizing and combining information from two sources. For question five, where the listening passage is a conversation about a campus problem and one or more solutions, you will need to describe the problem and then give your opinion about what the solution should be. Approach tips. Don't speak too quickly. Speak at a normal pace. Time yourself when you practice. How to approach these kind of speaking questions. Number one, be careful not to speak too quickly because this might make it difficult for the reader to understand you. The questions are designed so that if you speak at a normal pace, you will have enough time to give a complete response. You will get better at this if you time yourself when you practice. Question three, listen carefully to the speaker's reason for agreeing or disagreeing with points made in the reading. Make sure you summarize the opinion of the speaker. For question five, as you listen, focus on identifying and understanding what the problem and possible solutions are. Then, write down a few keywords or ideas on your scratch paper. But remember, you need to do more than summarizing your response. You also need to give your opinion, so don't spend too much time summarizing. Use most of your time explaining why it is the best solution. A scoring criteria, 0 to 4. A score holistically. Before the test, make sure you understand what the raters are looking for and how the questions are scored. In the speaking section, all six responses are scored on a scale from 0 to 4, and they are scored holistically, which means that the rater listens for various features in your response and then give it an overall score. Delivery. Clear and fluid speech. Good pronunciation. Natural pace. Good intonation. Language use. Use of grammar and vocabulary to express your ideas. Topic development, how fully you answer, how clearly you express your ideas, how you connect ideas. Now, here are some activities that can help you build your skills for integrated speaking tasks, especially numbers three and five about campus situations. Find an online newspaper from an English speaking university. Look for topics about campus life. Choose an article to discuss with a partner. Record yourself and listen to how you speak. Listen to hear your mistakes as well as your tone and pacing. Find listening and reading material on the same topic. Outline a one-minute response, including your opinion and supporting points. Practice improving your fluency. Try to smooth out your phrasing, use different wording, avoid pauses, use transition words, and so on. Okay. So, as we can see, those are great remembrance or things to remember when we are doing our speaking test. The most important about that is, yes, it's from yesterday, but also the most important is 
to remember what we do when we're speaking. Um, okay, no problem, Julia. Thank you for letting me know. And the most important is that we want to make sure that when you speak, you speak calmly, you don't repeat yourself, you expand and you answer the questions correctly. This is the most important. So if you are speaking and you start to repeat and repeat, you're not going to get as many points as if you go on and give more details, more information, right? And in the end, remember, the most important is the points. It's not the answer. It's not your opinion, especially in questions number three. In this one, they are not asking your opinion. They're asking you about the speaker opinion or the other person and why they think that. In the other questions, in questions number four and six, yes. In four and six, you are asked to give your ideas and why. But in questions three and five, no. Questions three and five is only about restating the information. Remember that part is from normally a small reading, like a small paragraph about something that happens at the university or around the university. Then we listen to somebody discussing, expressing if they agree or disagree, and then you have to summarize it. Those are the most important parts before we start practicing today. Do we have any questions or anything that is not clear? No, we are ready. Okay, I see everybody's very quiet. So that means, yes, I'm ready. I'm excited. I, I come to learn and speak English. That's what I like. I like it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and continue. Yesterday, we had our first practice. The questions were integrated questions number three and five. It's exactly the video that we watched in this moment. Remember, read, listen, answer. When you answer, do not begin speaking immediately. Organize yourself. Create a structure. It's very simple structure, but you should follow this procedure. Summarize the reading. Summarize the speaker. And then give details why the speaker feels that way. Why the speaker gives that impression or those comments. Okay? So, for example, you read... Um, pupusas are the most popular food in El Salvador. The speaker, oh, I think pupusas, I love them because we have them for breakfast and lunch. And then your job summarize. Okay. Yes. According to the reading, pupusas are the most popular food in El Salvador because they are eaten by many people at various times of the day. The speaker agrees with this because he shares the belief that he, his family, and, for, and that's how you begin to create it. Super easy. Reading, listen, and then speak. Yancy, did you have a question or comment? I see you like, I don't know if you had some internet problems or everything is okay. I have a problem with the internet. I don't know what happened. Yeah, it, it in, in my computer, it's like your screen, boom, boom. It went out in, in and out, so I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. Okay, I see a lot of people are having problems with the internet or with connection, but we have lost a lot of people. Okay, so we are ready. What are we going to do? I'm nervous. No, I am no, nervous. no, 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 don't be nervous, don't be nervous. Let's do number two together so that you get an example and then we practice with our partner. So number two together, example, and then a practice. Walter, can you please read here number two, the reading? I'll make it bigger so that it's clear for you. Okay. Okay. As part of the ED World Tour Health Workshop open source by the medical faculty, Dr. James Huber from the Monterey Health Organization will be presenting a lecture, Tyler, Tyler living with a restful leg syndrome at 2 p.m. in the campus auditorium. This illness is frequently mm, media knows because of difficulties is so first 
have describing their pain. The fact that it tends to be found within families indicate an underlying genetic cause. Dr. Philberg will be discussing the symptoms of restless leg syndrome in, way, in ways to alleviate the pain. Alleviate the pain the public is invited to attend. Okay. After the reading, the next step, listen. I don't know if they agree or disagree, but my job is to get the main ideas. Now listen to two students as they discuss the announcement. Hey, Sue, want to go for a coffee? No, thanks. I'm going to the talk about restless leg syndrome. Why don't you join me? Never heard of it. So what's your interest? Well, my mom suffered from it since she was a teenager. At that time, it was diagnosed as growing pains, later as a strained muscle. And then when she began teaching, she was told it was because she was on her feet all day. After she was told it was all in her head, she quit asking and just went on suffering. That sounds awful. So, uh, why were the doctors so wrong? Well, she's always described the pain as thousands of microscopic creatures eating away her calf muscles. That's weird. So how did she finally find out what it was? Oh, a cousin mentioned in passing the medicine that she was taking for restless leg syndrome and went on to describe what mom had been suffering for over 30 years. Wow. Yeah, she's on medication now but I want to know more about it. It runs in families. So you might get it. Maybe, but I haven't had any problems yet. Okay. The woman explains her interest in listening to the guest lecture. State her interest and explain the problem surrounding the syndrome. Well, according to the reading, no, I think, no empiezo a hablar, I think, in my mind, okay? So in this moment, I have 30 seconds. ¿Qué estoy haciendo? En mi mente estoy organizando. I'm organizing my ideas, right? So, in, I think, you know, according to the lecture, the reading, I think, okay, the woman wants to go because her mom, and then she discovered because, okay. Oh, please begin speaking after the beep. Beep. <clears throat> according to the reading, um, there is a special lecture at the hall at the university. This lecture has to do with restless leg syndrome. This syndrome is very important and is going to be given by a specialized doctor. The girl would like to, the speaker would like to attend because she is very interested since her mother suffered this many years ago and she didn't have a diagnosis. They later discovered because of a family member shared similar symptoms and had the idea. She is mostly concerned because these are some of the things that can happen in families. And she wants to know if she is propensed to have the same type of things happen to her in her family. According to the lecture, according to the reading, this is probably one of the symptoms that might happen in the reading. Did you see? I did not, I did not give my opinion. Not my opinion. In ningún momento my opinion. No, no, no. Number three, number five, no personal. Facts, information, get the idea. Okay, In, from the first the reading, ta, 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 10, 15 seconds, no problem. Then 10 seconds, the speaker, the speaker wants to go. Why? What is the motivation? What is going to learn? Uh, and then try to describe more information about it, right? That's it. But the important is, not repeat, not go back. I me quedo tiempo. Oy, and I go back. Uh, so the lecture at the university is important. No, you finish, you finish. That's why the 30 seconds is important. You organize, you structure. For me, when I do the exams, the best thing is to have a plan. Hi. My plan always is the same. Mm -hmm. Number one, reading. Lo que me tarde, whatever. The reading number one. Number two, the person agree, disagree, they want to go, their motivation, okay? And then the last part, the end, number three, is why. Why they agree? Why they disagree? 
what is the motivation for that? Or they they want to go, they don't want to go, they want the different things. And then just try to explain with more information. Now, for me, one of the best ways to get more points is use the vocabulary from the reading. Use the vocabulary from there. They have maybe one or two medical words, one or two professional words. Uh, I use the word from there. I I don't know this. I'm not a doctor. I don't know what is restless syndrome, restless leg syndrome, but I use because in the reading they use. I use because in the speaking they use. So then I know that for me, more points if I use in my answer. It's okay how to use it. Don't get scared. Don't get scared. I know. I know that in the first is, <gasps> no, but no lo puedo. Yes, yes, you can do it. You can do it. It's not easy. You need to practice. Practice the structure. Reading. Listening. Details why yes or details why no. The person agree or disagrees or wants to do the things. Okay. Today, we're going to practice with our partners. This is the most important Practice, practice, practice. Speaking in organization. Did you see? I did not begin speaking. I began speaking, organizing my idea. Ah, okay. According to the reading, uh-huh. And the woman, she think. And, and then, so when, okay. Now, please begin to, and then I am prepared. I have the idea. So we have many questions today. We are going to practice question number two. We have here, oops, I jumped too much, sorry. Number two is the faculty right there. Then we have this one, question number three, okay? The listening and then answering. Then we have question number four, listening and answer. And so we have three questions to practice, right? Number two, number three, and number four. Number two, reading listening, speaking. Number three and number four, only listening and speaking. So be careful. Okay. Remember, number two, no personal opinion. Number three and number four, yes, your personal opinion. You agree or you don't agree, but the same structure. No, my opinion. No, no. First, according to the lecture, according to the speaker, they say this, 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 and this. I personally agree because this, this, and this. I disagree because this, this, and this. As an example, and then you have the idea. But always the same structure. Pa, pa, pa. That way you don't get confused. No problem, Bunny. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bunny, can you speak or are you going to be only a listener today? Okay, I think Bunny in this moment is going to be only a listener. Okay. Before we make our groups, do you have any questions or any comments? No, don't worry. Okay, go ahead, Yancy. Go ahead, ask me the questions. It's okay, don't no. worry. Okay. <laughs> no, I tried, teacher, but it's difficult for me. I don't have many vocabulary. I tried, but so, it's difficult. <laughs> it's to me that the same problem. I think teacher uh, uh, identifies some weakness when doing that, the part of the exam. For me, it's uh, so difficult that comprehension in the totally, sometimes the complete passage, in order to catch a lot of idea, in order to to speak a lot about that. For me, that is the problem. Sometimes I get a a little idea about that. That's why I recommend that when you speak, you try to use the words from the listening. Try to use the words from there. Remember. Mm -hmm. You can take notes. It's okay. Okay, okay. You can take notes when you are listening. 
I mm -hmm. recommend if for you, you are having difficulty in this moment, take notes of some words that you want to use or some information that you want to use to sound better and to be more organized. Okay, okay. Okay, remember, do not copy sentence. It's impossible. Impossible to have a dictation. <gasps> Oy, do, 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 do. No, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. But ideas, words, key phrases, yes, this is possible. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me check. Rodrigo, can you speak? Because I know Rodrigo sometimes have int has internet issues too. Rodrigo, can you speak today? Okay, Vani, issue solved. Perfect, so Vani can speak. Great. Rodrigo, do you... Rodrigo? Rodrigo? Hello, teacher. Hello, you can participate? And the uh, information? In, in the speaking, it, it's okay. You, can you participate? right now Rodrigo are you able to speak today or no mm, a little a little you yeah. too many problems in the house in the house in the morning person okay all right no problem I'm going to change your name then Rodrigo for a listener also that way we are not worried okay no, no no it's it's okay I, I I know I know sometimes in the family the people continue the life and we are the ones studying and the people continue watching TV and listening all of the things okay um okay so we have Katya Irene and Rodrigo that have a little bit of issues okay no problem let me make the groups then so that we can try to get um, one person in each one. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Let me put this one too. One and here, there. Okay, so now with our partners, we're going to practice. Remember, go slowly, we have enough time. We have the three, we're going to try to go little by little. The important is not to finish. The important is to do it correctly. That's what we are practicing. No, I, I cannot terminate. it. No, we are not finishing. We want to ah, just structure, reading, listening, explanation. The other, listening, explanation, right? We want to practice the strategy. That is the object, not to finish, but to do it correctly. Okay, let's make our groups and do the best. Okay. In progress. Can you see the okay number number? This, um... uh, I don't know this one. Uh -oh. this number this four. One? Yes. Number four. Uh oh, confused. Uh, listening. Play to and listen. uh, syndrome, yes. Okay. Guessing grade in okay. section five. Uh, you will hear a conversation of lecture. Try to respond in 20 seconds and give your speech in 60 seconds. Record your speech and send it to your instruction, listen to come the conversation. Okay, we try. Uh -oh. yeah. 
I don't know what happened with that in in the in the <laughs> my family my my they use the internet in my family my, house, yeah. my sons and my husband have some problem yes with the internet it's a problem is it connected know, in the night they use um, the internet okay Yeah. Okay. All right. Right now. Yeah. All right. The University Board of Trustees has decided that the old main classroom building should be demolished, demolished, to make room for a new art center. The proposed building will serve the university drama, music, and art majors. Besides classrooms, the building will contain several stages. A main stage for visiting groups and major productions, and two smaller stages for experimental theater classes. A large concert hall and many practice rooms, and an exhibition hall, 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 I don't know. <laughs> with a permanent collection of our work, artwork. The time, for the time is over, Vanessa. All right. <laughs> time is over. So I think is that the program was the, 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 the next the next audio, I think. Yes. Okay. Listen the audio. Oh. Or we have a problem with the audio. Have you been enjoying our protest to stop their tearing down an old name? We are marching about the items and check our answers. So we work slower, and that's a disadvantage on a timed test. I can see that. What else? Men seem to enjoy trick questions, whereas women find them distracting. Well, I guess I can understand your feelings, but don't you think a university takes these differences into account? I'd hope so. You know, it isn't just women, but ethnic groups and even non-native English speakers have been shown to do better on open-ended tasks like essay tests. Okay, we have... 30 seconds for to prepare. And respond. Okay. Okay, I think she is, is a concert because she has a problem with uh, her score or average. He didn't understand. He don't, she, he, she don't understand why is, what is the reason for, uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Uh, can I can I help? Can 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 help me? <laughs> have the idea, but it's difficult for me the vocabulary to to use. Rodrigo, are you there? Do you understand? Rodrigo. What what do you think about the woman's concept and explain why? Career my woman concepts. Speaking the 
Ahí me tiró como que había actualizado. Is this about it? No. Uh, but the, the university, she is a student. Yes. She has a problem with this, the, the average. She needs to, to repeat, to... Search and explain why. Preoccupation is concern. Concern is preoccupation. Yes. Concern. Explain why. One moment. Okay. The time no. is running, okay? We need to listen to the number four. Listen to the conversation between two students. We need to pay attention. <laughs> yes. Okay, try. To... I can listen. Okay, continue to try. Hey, Becky. You look kind of uh, down. Yeah. I just discovered that I can't sign up for research methodology because I didn't take the prerequisite research writing skills. No, they disagree about that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Doing the next one exercise? Yes. Okay. Um, I'll read again. Okay. As part of the Eddie World Tower Health Workshop, sponsored by the medical faculty, Dr. James Fever from the Monterey Health Organization, will be presenting a lecture titled Living with Restless Leg Syndrome at 2 p.m. in the campus auditorium. The illness is frequently media snows because of the difficulties is suffer have a describing their pain. The fact that it is tend to be found within families indicates an underlying genetic cause. Dr. Fiber will be discussing the symptoms of restless leg syndrome and why to alleviate the pain. The public is invited to attend. Okay, the audio. Now listen to two students, they discuss the announcement. Yes, now it's going to be the listening, right? Yeah. Now listen to the two students as they discuss the announcement. Thanks. I'm going to the talk about restless leg syndrome. Why don't you join me? Never mind. So what's your interest? Well, my mom suffered from it since she was a teenager. At that time, it was diagnosed as growing pains, bigger as a strong muscle. And then when she began teaching, she was told it was because she was on her feet all day. After she was told it was all in her head, she quit asking. She just went on suffering. That sounds awful. So, uh, why are the doctors so wrong? She described the pain as thousands of microscopic creatures eating away her calf muscles. This? <laughs> okay. Teacher, for me, it's difficult. I need to practice many, many, many times. And practice many, many times? I heard this. And she is, no, in, in, no, now no, but um, I have idea, but it is, it's difficult for me to explain and, and use some vocabulary. How do you say me distraigo rápidamente? I get distracted. 
I get to strike. Yes. Okay. Well, let's go back and let's see what we can do. Okay. 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 Good. I okay. see. Back. Yes. All right. I see some people found the solution for their problem, the internet. Okay. So. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. All right. <laughs> So we're going to remember, we are doing good. The most important is, is going to be difficult. Sometimes it's hard, but is with if you don't try, you don't improve. So go slowly, try, make an effort. It, the objective is not to get 100. The objective is to prepare yourself for the exam. Remember, yeah. the TOEFL course, is to help you for the exam. If you are not going to take the course, the exam, it's okay. But you have an idea in the future if you want to take how to prepare and what to do. So the, it's okay. In this moment, remember, the objective is not to finish the idea. The objective is to do it correctly. If for you it's difficult, wait, I didn't understand. Okay. In the exam, you can't listen two times. But in the class, Listen two times. What are you going to do? Because you cannot speak if you don't understand. Mm -hmm. Yes, the objective is try to do one time. But if you can't, this is the indicator. It's like the map that says, hey, in this moment, you are not ready to take the exam. And it's okay. You are not ready. It's no problem. Listen again. Prepare yourself. Get yourself stronger. Oy, like I, I think Walter mentioned. The objective is, oh, I've identified some deficiencies. Perfect. Number one, identify. Number two, make them strong. If for you, the difficulty is listening, oof, more listening. If for you, difficult reading, oof, more reading. For you, difficult speaking, oof, more speaking. Identify the weakness and make it stronger. Okay? So let's try again. Let's come... Or did anybody finish? Did you finish questions numbers two, three, and four? I think no, but I check. No. No, no right? Teacher, no, because, uh -huh. because no, the Zoom was disappeared. Okay. Mm -hmm. Walter, your microphone. Up to now, teacher, is um, uh, a speaking section, I think is so difficult. <laughs> Instead of the another sections. A little bit, right? <laughs> A little bit because in the speaking section you is not like in the others in the others ah, you have time to <laughs> to read to understand to try but speaking is we oui, oui, go 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 and you have to have the idea so i understand but remember you don't have to have a lot of vocabulary you only need to use the vocabulary that you have a lot this is the important the important is the vocabulary you have, use it. And the tip, use the vocabulary from the reading. Use the vocabulary from the listening. If they say, oui, I'm going to use this word. Oui, they say this. Try to use two or three words from there because then it sounds more professional. Okay. So let's practice again. Let's yes. try it and see if we can do it. Are we ready? Yes, sir. Okay. Let's do it one more time. Hi, I think we're going to continue with the one if we started. I don't know if you already finished.
Jenny, Daniel? Only Vanni is speaking. <laughs> Can you hear me? I can yes. Hear you. Yes, Vane. I can. Yes. Ah, okay. I think Jenny was having a little bit of problem there, but it's fixed, right, Jenny? Yes. Okay. But... Okay. So in the last group, we were doing number four. And what about you? I I guess I guess okay. and the. I, oh, you, you just enter to the class. Yes, because I I I have a problem with it. And we can, and we can work individually. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, then, then I say, what do you think of the woman's concert and explain why? Mm -hmm. Describe the woman concert. Okay. Twenty seconds. <sighs> Okay, Walter, it's your turn. <laughs> my thinking, my, my answer is running. Okay, do you get a uh, comprehension about that uh, and the listening and the... Uh... Yes, yes, describe the woman's concern. She is, she is concerned, she is mm -hmm. upset, yes. What do you think of the woman's concept and explain why? Yes, he, she has a problem hmm. with the in the in the universe. Whereas women grade point averages are higher. Really? No, I didn't know that. So uh what's the deal? Well, test anxiety may count. Women tend to suffer anxiety levels that negatively affect their scores. You know. There was a study not long ago in which a control group and an experimental group, both with an equal number of men and women, were given a standardized test. The people in the control group were just given the test, and those in the experimental group were told that the researchers were looking at gender differences. The women in the experimental group scored even lower than the women in the control group. And they think the women in the experimental group were more anxious? Well, that's probably a part of it, but other studies show that men and women approach the tasks differently. So what do we, us guys, do differently? Uh, for one thing, you guys take risks. We're more cautious and try to analyze the items and check our answers. So we work slower, and that's a disadvantage on a timed test. I can see that. What else? Men seem to enjoy trick questions, whereas women find them distracting. Well, I guess I can understand your feelings, but don't you think a university takes these differences into account? I'd hope so. You know, it isn't just women, but ethnic groups and even non-native English speakers have been shown to do better on open-ended tasks like essay tests. Okay. Did you understand what exactly or something that they were saying? Okay. Um, 
to stay because it's the only thing that reminds from that time. And they also want to start the protest because he thinks that, that there's a lot of money involved in this thing that is not necessarily to spend on. So mm -hmm. that, that was what I understand. Oh, congratulations. You did it. Well, you did good. Well, the problem is that I don't have so many type of so many retentive. Uh -huh. That is why um, I understand so many words, of course, but I don't remember all of them. <clears throat> yes, that's pretty difficult. I guess that it's like a little bit like what the teacher said that we need, we need to make some notes about the keywords and maybe that will help us. Because it's pretty hard and it happens to me like to remind me of, because if you ask me right now, I remember about different things, what I didn't say. But in the in the time it's like pretty confusing because mm -hmm. I'm nervous and I don't I don't find the words sometimes. Yes, yes, that is part of uh, of our lucky, you know. But well, let, let's try to do then the second one, the medical faculty that has okay. uh -huh. Okay, I Okay. Yeah. And explain why. Okay. Exactly. Yes. So so, it's a problem with yeah. the score. Yeah, it's a problem in the uh, score in order to <laughs> university. We have so, a we have a, a concern. Yeah. Too. So and the, the problem is know about the meanings of words. Yes, many vocabulary new. Yeah. New vocabulary. Which ones? Okay. How do you say, teacher? No estoy. How do you say? No estoy. Hasta esta altura. For uh, me, no. At, yeah. uh, at this at this level. Level level. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Teacher, I I, I feel that that it is normal to me to me. Listening two, three or four times in order to in order to catch a, a better idea, in order to express my ideas. This is uh, even though even though in my in my native in my neighbor in my neighbor neighbor I don't know, native native native, native native language sometimes is necessary to someone to speak two or three times in order to catch some idea about that. In but, Spanish? Yeah, so it happened to me. It's oh. normal to me. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. It's natural in you. <laughs> it's natural so, in you, exactly. Uh -huh. so, entonces, so, entonces yo digo, ¿es necesario leerlo dos veces, tres veces para entender? No, no. Mm. Yeah. No, in Spanish, it's no... It's not the... No, so me pasa. Uh, no me pasa eso. Realmente a, a veces. No pasa. Explíquemelo dos veces. Le digo yo porque no entiendo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, the important is... Okay. So if you have that issue, uh, mm -hmm. it's in Spanish, but it's very difficult uh, on the exams because the exams yeah. are not... The exams are very standardized. And you have one opportunity, for example, here, you can play again and you can play again. But in the exam, you play one and not have the ability to repeat. Not yeah. to permit it. It's only one time and that's it. So that's where you have to be a little bit more careful. And that's why I say it, maybe it's difficult, but you have to try to reduce the amount of time. If you... It, little by little, you have to learn to control how many times you read, how many times you listen, how you answer. Because here in the class, you can listen two, three, four times. Yeah. The exam, one time. It, Ay, no, es que estoy acostumbrado tres, cuatro veces. Too bad. It's, uh -huh. it's not the realistic. It's not real. It's not the real in the exam. 
Yeah, so, um, and, and this problem happen in the native speaker, teacher? Not usually, because not usually. Not usually not, for example, in Spanish, depend on you, because in Spanish, for me, my Spanish is not great, but usually with one time, it's like okay to understand. When, when, when take a, 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 I don't know what is the exam that, that gringos took or take. Uh -huh. more, I don't know, it's the same, it's TOEFL. No, they, they, they take an SAT. Ah, I I think it happened the same thing, like uh, another- In Spanish, <laughs> yes. Yeah. In the other language, yes. It's, it's normal. Uh -huh. It's yeah, it's, it's normal in the other language, it's normal that you need two, three times. But mm -hmm. if you want to immigrate or if you want to go to university, if you want a scholarship, you have to understand the first time. Yeah, okay. That's the difference. That's the difference between the exam and the other activities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To me, it's a is a is a weakness I have I have teacher. It's so difficult comprehension the first time. I need to improve that. Even in Spanish, right? Yeah. Because even in Spanish. Mm -hmm. So remember, the idea is, is maybe not that it's difficult, but because the people explain to you again, you don't, yeah. have, you don't have to make a big effort the first time. Yes. Mm -hmm. Concentrate. You need to concentrate. Exactly. Because imagine and they say, okay, Walter, explain okay. one time. If not, I don't explain again. <gasps> in that moment, you have all of the focus. But mm -hmm. because in the other, you are not focused. You are analyzing little by little. Me yeah. quede, no importa. Me lo van a volver a explicar. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, like in the school, me, dictado, me quede, me quede. <laughs> and you know, what and the person not re, not explain again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's only about practice. Don't worry. It's only about practice. Okay. All right. Let's go back. Let's go. Back. Okay, so as you can see, the exam is not like speaking with friends, right? It's not, oh, my weekend, how was your day? Oh, Jenny, what did you eat today? Hi, Casey. Is that... No, 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 no. The exam is very different. It's very different. And the same, your strategy has to be different. Because if the exam is different, you need to focus in how are you going to answer? What are you going to do? different to make more points now always everyone you me everyone we have a weakness oh mm -hmm. maybe it's the listening maybe it's the reading maybe it's the speaking maybe it's the vocabulary maybe but the important is okay i have this weakness okay this is tofu too and tofu one lo identificaste mm -hmm. entonces que has hecho en dos meses para mejorarlo. Porque si dices, hey, es que tengo este problema y no has hecho nada, el problema mm -hmm. siempre lo vas a tener. Exacto. So remember, no tengo este problema, tengo esta oportunidad para mejorar. Ah, my speaking, tengo esta oportunidad para incrementar mi vocabulario. Uy, me voy a poner a, a aprender 10 palabras. Tengo esta oportunidad para mejorar mi... Ah, First, identify the area of opportunity. This is an opportunity. It's an opportunity. And then you try to go little by little by little every day to improve it. But mm -hmm. nobody, I know, for me it's difficult and I need it. Then I don't do anything. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, today we practice questions three and five. Questions three and five are a little bit different then questions four and six. Today, three and five. Tomorrow, we're going to practice four and six. What is the difference? The difference is tomorrow, we're going to practice the integrated questions, right? So we're going to 
read here. We're going to listen here. And also we're going to have to make the ideas. Now, many times in this integrated, the same as the other, we have a lot of information. And yes, some vocabulary is new. Okay. Some vocabulary, maybe you don't know. Okay. But the important is try to get the vocabulary from the listening. Maybe you don't know the technical word, but if you understand they agree or disagree, you use the technical words to explain why they agree or disagree. That's mm -hmm. the most important part. Okay. So tomorrow, very easy. The same thing we have. Look, super easy. We have one question right there. Okay. Then we have another one, number two. Then we have this one, the three, and then the last one, four. Four questions. But you learned today, four questions. Woo! It's a long time when you practice. It's not oh, four questions, four minutes, right? It's, it's a long time. The important is little by little practice. Now, mm -hmm. I want you to tell me, for you, what is the most difficult part for the TOEFL? Is the speaking? It's the listening, the reading. In this moment, we don't go to the writing, but maybe for you also is the writing. Tell me, what do you think is the most difficult for you? To express. To express. express. Speaking. 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 Yes, speaking. speaking. Okay. So then there are techniques. If for you it's difficult to express speaking, one technique is record yourself. Make mm -hmm. audios. Mm -hmm. Just listen to yourself. You don't have the opportunity to speak with Americans, with British, but we have technology. In technology, you can record yourself and try to improve. Mm -hmm. Only with that, you can improve. And you can say, ah, the next time, oh, I have here the vocabulary. Oh, I listen. Oh, I, I don't know. I no sabía cómo decir esa palabra. Write it down. Then in the next time, look for the vocabulary. Mm -hmm. The idea is this. Try to find a way to make yourself easier and better for the next time. Okay. Uh, teacher, I believe that the easy, mm -hmm. easiest, the, the easiest issue here is, is reading. Because while well, you we can read and we can ah, very fast, you know, but uh, uh, by listening, oh my God, it, for me is it's very difficult because uh, sometimes I I can understand many many words, but I cannot have the the written teeth to to express them myself them after them. Okay, so yes, reading is probably one of the easiest ones because mm -hmm. you can go back, you can analyze. But the most difficult part of the reading is the time. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, of course. So as you see, every each each section have difficulty. Speaking, oi, one minute, only speak one minute. But you need vocabulary, you need fluency, right? Mm -hmm. Reading, you have a long time, but you need analysis, you need comprehension. So it's Always have one good, one bad, one good, one bad. Yeah, but yeah. I want to thank everyone for connecting. Great job for today. Tomorrow we practice the other questions for speaking. Okay. Remember, the objective is not complete. The objective is to learn to do it correctly. Little okay. by little. Today we identify an area to improve. Tomorrow we practice to improve it. Okay? Okay, sir. Okay. Uh -oh. Thank you, guys. Thank you for your recommendations. You're welcome, Vane. Thank you for coming. Thank you. 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 Th